Good afternoon and welcome to another Metal Forming Minute. My name is John Wickerchess and I'm here with Eunice Timbangma. Hey John. And we're here to discuss the new Eunice Apex system. So Tim, tell us a little bit about the Apex system and why it's unique to the can making market. Oh uh, yeah, the Apex system is a next generation fluid controller for Unist. Um, basically it was designed for the can making industry where the amount of lube that gets applied to the stock material is very critical to the rest of their process. So the Apex system was designed to be very accurate and repeatable in its application of lube. Um, when you couple this with the Unist Uniroller system, it provides great lube application. So what makes the Apex system unique to other lubrication systems? Well, John, I'm glad you asked that. The first is the Apex's user interface. Um, the second is its active process monitoring. And the third is its positive displacement fluid metering system. All right. So that all gets controlled from this main panel here, but it looks like there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, is it something that just anybody can control, or do you have to have uh, a lot of knowledge as it relates to computers to, to control the screen? The user interface was designed to be very user friendly um, with simple navigation tools and simple ways to control both the monitoring systems, the manual processes that one might have to do, and to control the amount of lube that the Apex is applying. It's all very simple and straightforward to follow. The Apex home display displays all critical running parameters. At the top we have the current setup and its name. We also have a totalizer value which tracks the amount of lube applied. We have an auto and manual toggle, and also the ability to open and close the rollers on the attached unit roller unit. We also display the amount of lube in the reservoir and also its temperature. The, and also there is a press is running indicator to indicate when the press is running. We also have the ability to access an alarm history screen, which gives us a list of the last 20 alarms and errors. Changing the amount of lube applied by the Apex is easy. Simply go to the Setup Manager display, choose Edit Current Setup, and then you will see all the active roller sets that you currently have programmed. For each roller set, you have three values. You have the top fluid setting in units of milligrams per square foot, the width of material in each roller set, and then the bottom lube setting. Simply select the value that you want to change, type in the new value, hit Enter. This will prompt you to save that for the change to take effect. Hit Save. Now that change has taken effect. Part of the active system monitoring that the Apex has is monitoring the output pressure while we're dispensing fluid. You can see here the pressure rise and fall in real time as the, pressure, as the fluid is being pushed out to the uniroller unit. We also have a list over here of the maximum output pressure to each individual output. We also have on the graph a lower limit and an upper limit. We want the maximum pressure to fall between these two limits. If the maximum pressure is outside of that, it's a possibility that we have either a fluid leak or a clog somewhere in the system. We can see here, as we were dispensing, we had a spike in pressure. The alarm indication indicates that we had a system output clogged. And if we look over at our max pressure table, we can see that roller set five, the upper roller had a pressure that was a lot higher than all the other outputs. This would tell us that we had an obstruction in the fluid path to that roller. So we could go and know exactly which output to look for the problem and also we can tell that we had the clog. So to clear the error once it has been fixed, simply push the push the acknowledge button, the error is cleared and the apex will begin counting inputs again. So John, the uh, Apex Active Monitoring really monitors the whole process. Uh, it starts with monitoring the press, it monitors the Unis Uniroller, and it also monitors everything that's going on inside the Apex system. It monitors the pressure when you're dispensing to detect leaks and clogs in the fluid going out to the Uniroller. It monitors the reservoir, the temperature, the level. Um, everything that's going on in the Apex system is monitored. This helps to ensure that we detect problems right when they occur so that they don't show their face further on down the line in your process. So Tim, it sounds like the Apex system detects issues before they become problems. That's exactly it, John. Um, it'll tell you different warnings for potential clogs or leaks before they come, become a real problem. Tim, you talked about positive displacement metering. Can you tell us what, a little bit about that? Oh uh, yeah, John. Um, most lube controllers utilize either a pressurized tank or a diaphragm pump to push the fluid out to the material. The Apex differs from that because it uses a positive displacement pump 
to meter precise repeatable amounts of fluid out to the unirolar unit. Um, the advantages of that, well there's many advantages of that, uh, we're more repeatable, we don't have any of those viscosity issues from you know, temperature swings or different fluids, there's no flow calibration on this unit, um, and it's easy to control the amount of lube that's going out. So, so Tim, let me understand this right. With a positive displacement system in the apex, you get the same amount of fluid and the right amount of fluid every time. That's correct, John. It takes lube application to new levels of accuracy and precision. And for those who want to find out more information about the Eunice Apex, visit us on the web at www.unis.com. Mm -hmm.